So. Here we are. I don't even know where to begin with our story of this place. I can't even believe we're standing here. Since I was a girl, I dreamed of having a place in Italy. It's where my mom's family's from and John, both sides of his family. John and I were actually married very near here. Yep. We bought this place three years ago. It looked like a bunch of bricks. We haven't been able to come to Italy in two years. There was a global pandemic and our primary home burnt to the ground. We lost all our stuff. But we lost everything. Yeah. We also buried Izabu, mm -hmm. our beloved uh, dog of more than 15 years. Now we have Bella, but it's really coming along and it's been my life's work. I'm 52 years old and I've worked all of my life for this. It's a UNESCO heritage site, which is like a U.S. historic home. You cannot build anything on this building. You can go down, you can go under, but you can't go up or out. So that's Michael. He's actually my design partner. Michael is working with no knowledge of the Italian language with an all Italian crew, trying to project manage two very large structures. So it's a challenge. One that I don't think I could handle and I've been studying Italian for years, but poor Michael. <laughs> Niente, none. <laughs> any English, any of you guys? No. We don't have any storage though, nothing. Well. Where do we put pots, pans, dishes? And there's no pantry. How do we keep doing this? I can create. You know the worst thing about my house? The kitchens. Guess what I do for a living? I cook. We need a pantry. Yes. <laughs> Make a pantry. How high can you reach? <laughs> this high. Okay, so I'll pop here. <laughs> so the story of our little uh, villa villa, our little Italian uh, dream house adventure, uh, it begins October 19th on Facebook Watch, streaming on the A&E Facebook page. Of course, I, I think my favorite place on the planet must be New York because we live in upstate New York and uh, also New York City, uh, and I am a New Yorker, and I'm proud to be an American. But maybe the most special place next to that, uh, I love Austin, Texas, too. We play a lot of music there. I have a lot of fun there, a lot of friends there. But all my life, I have daydreamed about Italy because half of my family is Italian. And when I was a little girl, my grandpa and my mom were like my best friends. And my grandpa told me such beautiful stories about Italy that it became my fairy tale book. My life's goal, uh, since, since I can literally remember, was not who's the handsome prince I would marry or what job would I have in life, but could I ever live or have a place in Italy. So, more than 50 years later, my life stream has sort of come true. Three years ago, uh, my husband and I, John and I, and Isabu was still with us, God rest her soul, she was still with us at the time. We found a piece of land that spoke to me in Tuscany in a little town called Sartiano. My, my husband didn't love it quite as much because it had no plumbing, no electricity, uh, it, it, nothing really, just the land in a shell. Um, and it, but it was my life's dream and I, that's the piece of land I fell in love with and plus we got married in Tuscany. So uh, anyway, we're very excited to share this part of our lives with you. It's been a long couple of years and kind of sad, but there's lots to celebrate here.